This playthrough is rated T for teen. Uh, Kate, what have you gotten yourself into? You're in here in the middle of the French Alps in a cemetery with all kinds of spooky crazies, and we got automatons everywhere, and now your, your job's probably on the line if you can't get this settled within so long. Well, we'll try to figure that out. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volume we're back here with another episode, Siberia. In the last episode, Kate realized that, uh, well, there's an heir to the, the this hodgepodge of a throne, I guess, but uh, still, he's alive nonetheless, and we need his consent to buy the factory, which he's willing to give from all intents and purposes, but we just need to find the crummy crummy git, so let's just look all over the place and see if we can find it. Right now, we're in the cemetery, so we're trying to find, uh, I believe this one, let's see if I got the... We're supposed to basically find some... We're basically digging up some information uh, for... Um, one, we have to get inside the factory to get some information there, and then we have to get something from the cemetery. I'm not sure if we have to do one or the other first, but we'll check here since... Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, no, we're going to return to the game. So let's see if we can get inside first and then kind of go from there. If nothing comes up here, then we can go head towards the factory. Since we've got the key for that, we got that from the notary, so... No point. It's locked. Uh, of course it is. Oh, you gonna take a long... <laughs> a long time to get back to the steps? Great. Or, to get to the original intent? Awesome. Okay, I don't think there's... Other than leaving, I don't think there's really anything on the screen initially. Nope. Okay. So, onwards to... We'll go right first this time and just see if there's any other, other options. Ooh, we got a place to investigate. Let's see. Don't worry about don't have to worry too much about pixel hunting here. But I have to look at the general areas. Yeah, unfortunately this game doesn't have like other Doesn't uh, look like that works. Doesn't have like what other adventure games do where they have like, you know, the look, see, taste, touch and all everything like that. Well this one's pretty simplified for an adventure game. All things considered, at least comparatively to like King's Quest and stuff like that, so hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of things here. I think while well back we found some cogs, didn't we? So let's see if we can put these in or not. I don't think you have to actually know like what the um, like the order. I think because the game is pretty lenient about you being able to do this. So yeah, it was like that one kid did back in the 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 special needs kid over from earlier. I already forgot his name. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I pulled the lever, by the way. Pull the lever! What the? It's like Willy Wonka's uh, uh, elevator. Wondrous elevator? I forgot what the book's called. But it's basically like Willy Wonka. Hmm. Well, then. What the? Uh, I got some automatons up here and everything. Let's see. Anything to check in the area? No, it looks like p p bits and pieces and stuff like that. That's kind of creepy. Alright, anyway. Ooh. It's like a uh, man for like the uh, the church uh, for the organ or something like that. You can tell it's a church. Got the cross there. Wonder what type of church it is. I assume it's Catholic, but I could be wrong. Huh? Nothing to really check up here. Oh, here we go. Now, for a second, I wasn't seeing any like uh, explore option icons, but okay. Sometimes I'll accidentally glaze over certain icons on the. This thing, so okay, so we can check that guy. Is there anything else we can check before we do that? Let me double check here again just to make sure I didn't miss see the icon. It happens if you like if you float over something for too fast, you might not see the little arrow or a little indicator indicating that you can actually check it, so hmm. Might not be able to do anything with this yet, even though we've opened the way here, because if that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Perhaps a program, or um, I'm trying to remember what it is with old, you know, a pun like a punch card or something like that. Like back in the day, where certain computers, you put a punch card in and read the program and do a specific set of jobs based on the punch card. It was basically a physical version of a program or something like that. But uh, fortunately, we do not have anything like that. So unfortunately, I will have to come back another day. So we we solved that. Well, we solved getting into this place, but. Uh, we can't do anything with it, so unfortunately that will happen in games where sometimes you'll solve something faster than you intended, but then you realize you don't even have anything for the next step, so at least we know we can get into this place now. And odd, uh, odd, odd cup of church, that's for sure. I didn't expect churches to have weird elevators and puzzles in it, but this is, uh, Vadelaine, or Va Valadeline, or whatever you 
I'm probably going to mispronounce that multiple times over the course of the game, even though, the, even though the game's clearly told me how it's pronounced, you know. I'm going to forget and mispronounce it anyway. Let's see. Yeah, that just takes us back. Yeah, let's check. Even though we can get inside, but we still, we've still we got inside the top of the of the church with the, where the organ plays and everything like that, but uh, we haven't actually gotten to the main part of the building, so I said it's locked. Oh! Or it's open. Cool. Kate breaking and entering since, well, whenever adventure games were first designed, like the first adventure game for, like, the Atari or whatever, so. There's probably adventure games before that, but, like, in whatever is older than the Atari, but. Uh, what is this? Actually, let's check the room before we actually leave it first. Yeah, where's the preacher? Is there a preacher who lives here or anything like that, or did he have to leave as well because nothing's. Oh. We can check, uh, check the cross here. Way, way to symbolize your Masa what the that's not Jesus that's like a automaton huh I guess well I guess they're the the fact that this village is losing a breeze by the automaton why not have a messiah automaton automaton here what the a key hmm. but what does that open I wonder is this a, is that sacrilegious I'm not sure if that's sacrilegious maybe it is I don't know anywho but then again I don't think this ever indicated that it was a Catholic church or anything like that so it's probably fine what if we can uh, take a look at the key? No. Okay. Yeah, it's just a key, unfortunately. Okay, we'll just leave that out of the inventory for now until we indicate otherwise. Because sometimes the game, we're, we just figure stuff out and the game doesn't really indicate, like. Oh, this thing's jammed. Hmm. The thing appears to be jammed. I can't open it. Well, except we see a little. little uh, I need a key. Uh, you don't say, Kate. You don't say. She goes, at least she doesn't repeat it every time I click the thing, so that's nice of them to do that. Oh, this thing's jammed. Okay, so we need to open this, so probably that key we just got. Ta-da! Ooh, hello. Oh, those are, those are the priest's vestments. Let's see what he's got. Oh, a punch card that I talked about earlier. Excellent. We can close that back up. Ah, hello, more vestments. Oh, another punch card. Yes. Yeah, for those ki for those kids who don't know about punch cards, they're about to find out. But uh, yeah, I'm surprised I remember a lot of this stuff. I guess there's just something, some knowledge that just doesn't disappear. Yeah, rosary, more vestments. Looks like a priest or priest book. Uh, looks like a looks like a Sunday school type of book. Eh, nothing here though. Not everything has to have something in it. Oh, another punch card. We'll have to figure out what these punch cards do. Probably if it's for the organ player, it probably plays a specific song. Is that a book? Is that a Jesus bookmark? No, it's a type of book, but uh, oh, another punch card. Nice. But that's this still stuck. Jammed. Hmm. Probably have to do something with that later, but we don't have anything currently in our inventory. At least not that I'm aware of. No. Okay. Didn't think so. Okay, so now we can go back to that one guy if we really wanted to. But let's take a look around first before before we do that. Although we don't really know why we need to do that, other than we need to do it. No point. It's locked. Okay. So we'll s so we're done in here then. Run, Kate. Run before the cops come. Actually, does this town even have cops? Does it even have crime? For the most part? I mean, usually most small towns do have some type of law enforcement. But usually, if it's pretty small of a town and everyone knows your name, you know, like Cheers or something like that, then usually it's only like one. It's kind of like the old Wild West where they had like a sheriff and he could deputize people, but it's usually the one person, so... Although in the Wild West, you know, you're more likely to get shot as a sheriff, so, you know, only only the toughies of the tough of the toughies took the job. Or if you just or you let all the <laughs> let all the criminals do whatever they want and you just took the job for whatever reason. Almost like a mausoleum up ahead or something like that. Let's see what's in uh, I wonder if that's where our the former owner owner used to be uh was buried. Probably. A little bird. Let's see. Yeah, nothing to click on or move. Well, I mean, other than that. I can't go know. that way. Must have to do something. It may have something to do with the organ. Maybe if the organ plays, it opens this if we do it right or something like that. Just, uh, nothing's coming. Yeah, I don't see anything highlighting, so I guess that's it. Okay, so we can't get in there yet. Alright, let's, uh, there's one more spot to, oops. Yeah, too bad this game doesn't have like a um, 
At least when it comes to certain items, you can't, um, you can't examine the, at least as far as I'm aware of, I can't get the examine punch card or something like that. Like in some games, you can have the characters inner monologue or inner dialogue or monologue about, about the items they have in their inventory. But this game doesn't really, oh, the only time they talk is when it comes to like, when you, and even then you're just, um, is either click on it to take the item or to consult it, but you're not actually describing it. So that's probably one of the few faults I'd say with this game. Like the game does have a great aesthetic, but it you know suffers from, we don't really get to know, I mean, we know enough about Kate, I guess, over the course of the game. And I guess it isn't really a comedy or you know a, a funny game. It has some funny themes into it every once in a while, but you know, it looks like there's nothing back here. There's nothing's popping up. So it looks like just another isolated area on the map but yeah i mean usually funny games are the ones that allows you to kind of comment on stuff but even even games that are serious usually have like a line of dollars and the main character saying this is what this is and all this other stuff but yeah nothing back here okay well let's mess with the uh let's with mess with the man in the tower so i guess we can't actually get in the in the main area itself although yeah i think that organ thing opens that door so but we'll find out. Onward, back up the elevator. Perhaps we, we can figure out which punch card we're supposed to use, or a combination of punch cards, if that's how it works. We don't really have the, we don't have the obvious, it might be one of those things I have to go to the factory to find out. I bet I'm doing this a little earlier than I'm supposed to, so if I can't figure it out initially, I'll just continue with the game and come back um, after we figure it out. So let's, uh, well, let's just try different punch cards. Oh, that was All Holy Night. I think that's All Holy Night. Oh, Holy Night. Da, 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 da. I almost didn't recognize it, so that's the red one. What's the blue one do? That's the wedding theme. I forgot what the actual name of that is. Um, I know it's not. I know it's not the wedding theme, but it's just been used as wedding themes. Da, 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 da. I think that's the wedding theme. I might be off on my classical music. So, uh, let's see, this one's the purple punch card. If that's going to work. It looks like something's missing. Oh, did I accidentally unequip it? I no longer need these punch cards. No, I wanted to know what the final one did. Dang you, Kate. Come on, man. How could you just throw away ancient technology like that? Aren't you... Oh, wait, you're not really a preservationist. You're just supposed to... Unfortunately, that's what's one of those puzzles that's just trial and error. It does... I mean, there might be, like, a thing in the factory that tells you which one, but really, since there was no failure for... Not, but I kind of wish I'd... I might reload an old file just to show you what that final punch card was maybe at the end of the episode or something like that. Not that it's a big deal, but, you know... I just wanted to show it off, so... Alright, back down we go. I guess that was just the theme for the... The theme for the game. Open that, but yeah, I was right to assume that... That opened up the... The... Uh, uh, mausoleum or whatever. I don't think that's called a mausoleum, but... Like I said, I'm misremembering a lot of my... Cemetery terms, so... Forgive me. But I remember enough. So let's go see what's... Let's go invade more personal privacy just to sell the, just to buy this dang factory. Now, that's all Kate cares about, at least at this point. Although, she wants to, you know, keep her job, get this done, hopefully not get fired after all this. But uh, let's see what the symbol on the hat is. I need a key. Looks like we need another key, and I bet we have to go to the factory to get it because, yeah, it's like a cross-shaped key, and we have nothing in our inventory. Yeah, see, so you know, 
that will not work. Okay, so we solved that one. So now it's on to the factory to see if we can find that key to open the door. Yeah, you definitely have to do both areas. I just wasn't sure if there was like an obvious, like, it probably would have been easier to go to the factory first and do all that and then come here second. But, yeah, since we were here, and we, it was a great way to end the episode having Kate's boss call her, like, right at the right moment. I was trying to figure out how to end the episode, and then that happened. I was like, oh, there we go, golden. Awesome. I mean, I've never been that great in any uh, any episodes. Every once in a while, I'll get a good, but but for the most part, I just kind of I just kind of stop it when I do. But every once in a while, I'll get I'll get lucky. And there's the uh, nice old man who hasn't seen a lady in forever. What? Oh, did I? See? Yeah, hold on. Did I? I thought I saw a hand symbol there for a second. Or did that just take us to the bridge? Huh? I could have swore I saw a hand symbol when I was when I highlighted this. Huh, maybe I just, I was actually kind of surprised. I was like, wait, what? There's a hand, something to grab over here? I know there's talking to the dude, but I think, actually, let me see if he has any new other dialogue outside of what we just did with him. Hello again. If you have five minutes to sit and talk, I could tell you a thing or two about the olden days. I am sorry. I, I really am in a hurry. Ah, uh, it is a pity. That's not what you, that's not what the subtitles say, dude. Anyway, yeah, sometimes the games will have like what the characters say and what the subtitles say. So I don't know what was the what was the point of that. But anyway, the old man just wants to talk to a pe pretty girl, Kate. Come on, get. Fu I, I know why she isn't because just because she's uh, a <laughs> she you know she kind of wants to get this job done so he can get back to New York. So, but you can tell that the uh, Kate situation is definitely a lot more complicated than you realize, especially after talking to her. I guess a husband, boyfriend, it's hard to say. Because they call themselves darlings, so I assume they're, uh, uh, I, won't, I don't know if intimately, but very closely. Because you don't just call your friend darling. Well, depending on what culture you're from. If that's going to work. It looks like something's missing. If you're someone from the 50s when you go, oh, darling, or what, whatever that old movie's from. Uh, well, an old, uh, old uh, clockwork, you know. Uh, turnkey, but uh, yeah, that boy looks like he needs something, so let's give him the telescopic scope. Or the key, I mean. Oh, it went right into his brain! Oh, sick! No, anyway. Uh, game? Where's the... Oh, there it is. I was like, I was trying to see what it was like, what? Huh, oh, weird how you can turn the key before you even set the... Or turn the... The, the key there before even inserting the key into his head. Anyway, on to the next part. I was just seeing if there's anything on the screen to check. Nope. Okay. On to the factory. Let's see if we can get some some of that information on to locate the heir himself. Uh, okay, we got a couple different ways to go. Not that it really matters. We'll have to check all of them anyway. It's an adventure game. Of course, we're checking every path. Now let's go left. As as I say, when in doubt, go left. Yeah, I kind of wish this game had more dialogue from Kate where she can explore or describe her situation or whatever or how she's feeling. Oh well. That's probably why Kate's not on the list of most memorable M MCs from adventure games. That usually goes to like either characters that are comical or you know more introspective or something like that. But you know like uh, Guybrush Threepwood and stuff like that. Or, King's, or King Graham or you know but uh, yeah still. I, like I said I still like this game. I'm just Sometimes you you kind of notice little things about a game when you play it after all these years, you're like, ah. or things that could have improved it over the course of the game. But obviously, that wasn't the story that uh, Ben Wasokal wanted to tell, or the gameplay he wanted to use. So gotta respect that. Okay, looks like we got a few places to check out. Looks like this is the factory floor itself. So let's check over here. And, oh, no people here. That's why there's not a lot of jobs, because they were all all, all automated. <laughs> they took her nerves. Okay, sorry for making it a little high pitch there. Let's see if there's anything. Yeah, nothing on the map, too. But I do like the set pieces in this game a lot. Kind of reminds me of a map painting or something like that that you'd see in movies and stuff like that. So, you know, the door there? I did see an exclamation thing earlier. Or, nope, never mind. I thought I did. I thought I saw, like, a little exclamation mark. 
Or not. Uh, you know, a thing where you can check it, so. Uh, nothing we can do there. Let's see what's in this door. If it's locked, I'll go mad. That's. Oh! It, sometimes it's hard to tell if the if 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 power supply there, or switch, or more cord, or whatever. This is where it probably pumps the water, perhaps for the automation or something like that, maybe. It's hard to say. Maybe a bit steampunky. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, another symbol for the key. So that means we're in the right area to find that key. Let's see. I got a switch there, or I got a pulley there, a chain. And then we got a. Well, let's mess with stuff. Why not? The factory's not working anyway. Doesn't look like that works. Dang it. All right. So that's not working. Uh. Let's, uh, okay, I'm just double checking to see if anything else I can click on. Nope. Can we pull the chain? Probably need to supply power to this place to mess with this, but. No. Oh. Why do I feel like the Pee Wee's Playhouse music should play right now? Do, 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 for what purpose? It's hard to say. Perhaps powering the factory, like I said. Oh, and it inserted the, uh, lowered the thing so we can insert the, uh, oh, I guess that's it's just a large key activator. I thought it was a pipe. Well, it looks like just a large, oh, okay. That's all we had to do. Let's see. What happens if we push and pull the chain again? If it does anything new? I can. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, then why, why does it let you click it? It doesn't let you do this again. Okay, maybe we supplied power to the factory. Or we supplied power to that, it's hard to say. Now let's see what uh, the floor has to do now that we're... Nothing new. I do, although we do hear a, a sound of a motor running off in the distance. If you can barely hear it. So something's happening. Let's see if we can go to another section. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, like, it's just kind of like click on stuff to get things to activate. You know, no, uh... No specific rhyme or reason, other than we're doing this to find a, a goal in mind. See, nothing. Yeah, nothing. It looks like we haven't... I guess we've done step one to start at the factory, but we haven't quite started yet for whatever reason. Yeah, I can't, nothing's popping up here, so we'll probably have to come back here later. Yeah, a lot of adventure games do have you have to have you backtrack, so just keep in mind that you may have to come back to this area at a later date, so don't... Uh, don't completely write it off. So we go up there, or stay on the, we'll stay on the ground floor for now. I said that just takes us over there, so. More boxes and stuff. I got nothing else in here. Huh. Avon calling. Or is it, or is it Landshark? Yes, hello? Kate, what happened to you, my poor munchkin? I've been trying to contact you for hours. I'm in Europe, Ma. What? Europe? Europe? My God. Oh, I've got such happy memories of Europe. Some of them even involved your father, but uh, that's enough of that. Tell me, where are you? Paris? London? Venice? Valle de Laine. Yeah, I know. It's a bit out in the boonies. What in the world are you doing out there? You know, business. I've got to see through the takeover of some old family business that's got a few debts. It's a really charming place, but there's one or two weird things going on here. I, I can't go into it now. Oh, well, that's right. Your old mother's too dumb to understand it. You really do take after your father sometimes. Mother. Kate, you'll never guess who I saw yesterday. Ma, I haven't got a lot of time, you know. Frank! Ma, please, I've got to go. Frank! Frank Malkovich, the Russian opera singer. Well, maybe you don't remember him. He was quite a star in his day. Listen, Ma, I really don't have the time. I'll call you back. He is as charming as he always was. We spent it. Mom, I really have to go. I'll call you back, I promise. Lots of love. Kate! Uh, Mom just wants to talk, Kate. Come on. It's Oh, wait, we don't want to stop this whole adventure just to listen to her mom talk all the time. And I guess, uh... Maybe her parents are separated just because of the way she kind of talked about the father to an extent, but I could be wrong. Maybe she might be just messing with him too, but uh, idea I got, idea I got. But Okay, if you go over there, we go over to, there's a door there, and then whatever this 
part of the contraption does, so let's check let's check here first. Oh, okay, that takes us to the door. Or I guess they're all connected. Looks like it maybe a press or something like that. Looks like they probably maybe it grabs something or press. Sorry, maybe it clamps or grabs something. Maybe it takes it through or pulls it out. Well, with where we started the factory, we'll have to figure that out, but for now we don't really have much else to Hello. A little man on a um it was kind of like a, uh, not a crane, a um, forklift, yeah. Except for the, instead of the levers, you use the arms to pick up stuff, apparently, or something. Oh, huh. quaint. Oh. It grabs it, and then goes somewhere to the factory, if there was something there to grab. <laughs> Kate disappeared, did you see that? Like, her bottle just went, pop! set it wherever that is. Unfortunately, we couldn't go over there when that, or at least I was, I couldn't get click on that. I mean, I'll, I might try again just to see if I can. And all that for something we didn't, couldn't even, but we didn't actually do. All it does is told us what need to do. Yeah, a lot of the uh, visuals popping in and out, weirdly enough. So, okay, so we need to use that for something that pumps out of this thing later, but for now, we can't really do anything. So, another thing to keep in mind. And you. Okay, it's just Kate doesn't have anything to say about the wonder of the machine or anything like that. Just kind of like, huh, huh, neat. Is that just, is that part of the same thing like before? Okay, it is. Yeah, good, good. Just making sure. You know, you never want to miss that one little thing. Let's see if we go to the door. Open. Open. Oh, but what the? Is that thing moving? Ah, oh, crazy. Nah, it's probably just the wind. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, we can't even click on it. Yeah, it's just it's just the wind. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. Oh, we got a... Hold on. Oh, even Kate kind of looked at it for a second. I was like, whoa, that thing's freaky. Uh, let's see. We got an anvil here. And then whatever's back here. Oh, it's just part of the... Whoa. Man, if this was if this was a place with human parts, this would be a horror. But it, the, because it's machine and automated, well, we're fine. It looks like nothing to do. Oh, hello. Got a little lever here. And then a mallet, but we can't click on or interact with it or anything like that. Okay, let's see what this does. Let's play with more stuff, Kate. Why not? Uh, the thing is alive. Alive. Well, it wasn't just the wind after all. It was a it was a real automaton. Or at least I assume it's an automaton. It looks like an automaton. Well, let's see what this automaton has to say. Perhaps he can lead me to uh, the next clue. Hello, good sir. Oh, many thanks indeed. I am most embarrassed for you to see me like this. I lack a certain completion. You see, nobody here found the time to polish off the finishing touches. Honestly. These days, we really have lost the art of good workmanship. Uh, yeah, maybe. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Could you please state your identity, articulating clearly? My name is Kate. Kate Walker. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Model XZ2000. My common name is Oscar. I represent the technological zenith of this factory's production. I have been designed to drive a locomotive. A touch messy, but an essential task. Huh. He does look like a man who can, uh... Um... Oh, what's the word? Can drive a locomotive. So who is this Oscar fellow? Can he tell us about the... The, the lady of the place and the, and the heir apparent? Find out next time in the next episode of Siberia. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.